Oh my god. Fuck that. Okay, let's just go. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to some more Beam NG Drive. And today we are on a map called Snake Ridge Trail, which is actually supposedly uh, the spiritual successor to a little map called Lizardback Trail. Which, if you don't know, I uh, played quite a while back. Uh, I will leave a link to it in the description. It's a good video, but yeah, the guy behind this this map named Dune Wolf is very, very talented. And this new map is looking to be pretty damn awesome. I haven't played it yet. I just kind of looked over the uh, the uh, screenshots, but it looks like it's pretty well detailed. And it looks like it's mainly off-road, so we have the good old Hopper Off-Road Edition here. It seems like the perfect fit for this map. So yeah, let's go ahead and do a little bit of exploring. It's going to be an exploring video, like a nice, calming Sunday drive type deal, only it's Friday. So yeah, whatever. Anyway, let's let's go, and that is a crazy angle for a road right off the bat. Wait a second. Is this, is this a racetrack? Holy shit, I think this is a racetrack. <laughs> and we have a massive, massive, oh wow, that is a giant shipper. Okay, we have to go take a look at this. Oh, that is spooky, man. That is... There's something weird, there's just something really off-putting off when you see a massive object just sticking out of the water like that, like like shipwrecks and such, but yeah, that is awesome, that's a really, really cool detail. I wonder if that is from one of those games where you explore the wreck of the Titanic, it looks almost exactly like the Titanic, what the hell is this? Oh yeah, it's just weird lighting, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that that is supposed to be the Titanic, so apparently this is not a safe place to to row your boat or you're just gonna sink or just stay there in, th in this case. But yeah, we have a racetrack, which is pretty damn awesome. Whoa! Is this just a like deserted island that was once like home to some races or something? There's like dead cars, like rotted out cars on the side of the road and like a very gloomy feel to it. I love it, I absolutely love it. And I believe, yeah, this is the end of the loop. So, whoa! Whoa! Okay, we're going a lot faster this time. I guess we're going for lap two here. Let's see how fast we can do this. I haven't let off the brake or let off the gas yet. We'll see if we can oh get through this without <laughs> without letting off the gas here. So far, so good. I think you might be able to do it, especially in this. Oh, oh, come on! Oh God! Okay, we lost the tire. It's okay though. We can keep going. Very, very slowly, mind you, but we can keep going. We only need three tires. It's totally fine. Yeah, we're not getting up this hill. Okay, fine. We're go we'll actually do some exploring now. So I did see, I think that just leads back to where you were. Yeah, it's kind of a shortcut. Uh, is there any roads that we can take? Uh, there's one right there, but I saw one right when we came out over here. So I think I'm gonna actually take this one first, just cause it looks like it's like a coastal road. And it looks like a lot of fun to drive off road. Whoa, shit! Hey, Dune Wolf, if you're watching this, I don't know if you know how to do it, but if you could make it so it was like, if you could like turn off and turn on an option to make it like raining, that would be so atmospheric. So my immersion levels would be at an all-time high because uh, it just it just feels like it should be raining, like storming or something. I don't know. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I think it would be awesome. All right, so it looks like we have a little town here, a little port rather. And I, what the hell is that up there? There's a giant, giant wooden bridge that looks totally safe to drive on. So does this, by the way. Oh, Jesus. Oh, could you not afford to put a few more <laughs> logs in between there? Oh, good thing we have the off-road hopper because this is probably the best car to do this in. Or, well, not the best, but probably at least the most fun. But yeah, that, that did not seem safe at all. Actually, this road in general doesn't seem very safe, but I guess that's the point of the adventure, right? Come on! Push it, Hopper, you got it. Yeah, there you go. I could just switch those options off down there. Or on, rather, but you know, that's no fun. We gotta make it at least a little bit challenging, right? Alright, so I think this might actually be somebody's drive- Oh, wait, no, that's not a house. It's a, uh, it's like a bridge. Okay, I guess we can keep going up. Just to s I kind of am curious to see what the hell is up here. I hope I'm not let down. Oh, okay, it just leads to the giant fucking bridge. I got you. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Fuck that. Okay, let's just go. Ooh, I kind of want to crash, though. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just do it. Here we go. And... 
down the hill we go. Oh man, I love the thing. I love the way the hopper crashes. It's so satisfying when the roof just like gets ripped off. Oh man, we're going even down. Jesus. All right, so pretend that never happened. I, I can't tell. I don't think this bridge actually has phys physics. That would be awesome if it did. Kind of like that. Uh, kind of like that scenario from the uh, the first uh, campaign mode where you have to go across the bridge that's just swaying to and fro, and it's really windy, and you're driving like a burn side. Okay. So, I guess this is where this map gets its name. There's a snake that seems to be floating in front of the sign, but who cares? So, I'm guessing that this is probably the most dangerous track on the map. I mean, it looks pretty treacherous here. I wonder where it leads. Oh. Oh, it's going up the hill. Oh, no. Oh, there's got to be secrets up there, and I think there's another, another wreck over there by the looks of it. Yeah. So, apparently, you just can't get anywhere near this island or you're going to crash. Maybe that's why... Oh, there's like an abandoned town here. They they uh, sailed their boat in and they crashed and they can leave so they're like well I guess we could just build a uh, Build a city or whatever and we have like a fire watch tower up here The works so you can uh, scout for Bigfoot or whatever you're gonna be doing on this island It's really not a very big island at all. It's pretty tiny So I don't know where they got all the resources. Oh, you know it has a bunch of wood. Oh, it goes up even more Ooh, Which way do I want to go? Okay, let's uh, make a save point right there just to see what's up here. I'm curious if we can even get up this hill. Yes, we can. Is that it? No, no. It, keeps, it just keeps going up. Oh, don't flip the car now. Don't flip the car now. Oh, this piece of shit. Jeeps just flip over so easily. That's the only reason I wouldn't get one. Not that I would be doing a lot of crazy driving, but it seems like they just flip over so easy. And, uh, yeah, we're greeted with this view, I guess, but nothing else. That is a Gosh darn pretty view though, god damn it. Okay, let's just crash ourselves. Oh, that's a long way down. Oh, see ya. <laughs> oh god. And straight into the lake and down to the bottom. How deep is this lake? Oh, it's not too deep. You could go swimming. I would definitely go swimming in this lake. All right, so we'll just keep on the snake trail here just to see where this, does this lead. I might just lead right back down to the normal trails. I'm not really sure. But yeah, uh, this is just pretty much just going to be a relaxing video. You know, I, I got to take a break from just smashing shit 24-7 to kind of appreciate the uh, the beauty in life, or BMG in this case. And uh, yeah, I just like to show off the work of all these super talented... Oh god, that is steep. The uh, super talented map and mod creators in this game. So yeah, it's nice. Just relax once in a while. Oh, I see another bridge up there. Careful. This is super dangerous. I'm probably going way too fast through these. Oh! Whoa! We had a solid two tires off of that thing. That was pretty scary and low. Oh, what the fuck? Look at that wreck over there. That thing is massive. Holy shit. We might have to go and investigate that one in a second, too. And how the hell did this car get up there? I don't understand. And there's like graffiti all over this rock. That is awesome. Oh, shit. Look at that. It's like a pirate colony. I wonder if that's what it's supposed to be. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to read the backstory to this really quick. Okay. Snake Ridge Trail is the spiritual successor to my Lizardback Trail map. It takes everything Lizardback Trail did and does it a little bit better. The map takes place on an island in the northern USA. There's miles of roadway trails, dirt paths, and cobblestone road. Old sawmills, campgrounds, rickety bridges, towns, and watchtowers are scattered around the map. Chances are anywhere you see, you can go. So, yeah. And, oh, no, there's a little bit more. There's a bunch of hidden stump jumps, including in the map also. Some are straightforward, while others are more hidden. See if you can find them all. So, a stump jump. What the hell is that? Does that just mean like a like a little jump in the road that sends you flying? I'm not really sure, but I think we're going to do a base jump here just for shits and giggles. Now, how would I do? I mean, I guess I could just... Uh, I could like set a node on the car and then just jump off. Should I try it? I think I'm going to. Okay. I'm going to set the strength to 30. All right. Here we go. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Hold up. Let's set it to like five. Yeah. There we go. So put one right there. Maybe that'll give us a little bit more leeway here. Yes. Hell yes. Base jumping, bitch. Oh, is it even going to slow us down? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was pointless. Let's just jump off. Here we go. All the way down. Let's get some slow motion as well. Oh, shit. Can we land it? 
Yeah, hell yes! We oh god! Oh, there's more! Oh, there's so much more! <laughs> Into the water we go, and there goes our roof, of course. All right, so I kind of want to go look at this uh, this shipwreck over here. It looks pretty damn. Oh, that thing is huge! That's bigger than the other one for sure. Oh my god! Can I drive on this? Here, let's see if we can. No! <laughs> Fall right through it, of course. You know, I guess it's just a uh, set piece for the background, but you know, it's still pretty cool. It really adds to the feel of this map. There's another one right here. That's sinking. There's another, I don't know what this is, another bar or another ferry. So literally every single boat that gets close to this island just fucking sinks. That's, that's awful. I love it though. Yeah, he was not kidding. There is a bunch of different dirt trails in here. Let's see if we can, oh wow. Are you supposed to rock climb there? That could be pretty awesome. All right, so where do we want to go? There's the observatory. Uh, let's just start here and just drive and see where it takes us. We're gonna switch cars as well. Uh, what's uh, what's the best off-road car we have? I don't know. There's a, there's a ton of off-road cars, so maybe the Roamer's always a good choice. You can't go wrong there. Uh, we can always go with the monster truck, but I think for this one, I'm actually gonna go to something a little bit different. Where is it? There it is. The pre-runner edition of the Hirochi Sunburst. Just because, I don't know, That's it's it sounds perfect for these uh, these very backhill off-road maps. Because look at the tires on this thing. The thing is just awesome. Oh, and I think we shouldn't have any trouble getting over most of the terrain. The rock crawling bits may give us a little bit of trouble, but that's okay. If I had a car equipped to handle this kind of environment, I would definitely, definitely run it all over this map. Can you imagine how fun that would be? Like, you, if you could, like, make your own map in real life and then, like, drive on it. I mean, I guess you could technically do that if you have the, all the VR equipment and, like, the the shaky chairs and stuff. But I feel like it wouldn't be anywhere near actually doing it in real life. Like, if you could, like, create your own landscape like you were a god or something. That would be... That's probably... If I was a god, that's basically what I would do with my powers is just make awesome maps and drive cars on it. Is that... Is that bad? Yeah, I mean, it's it's boring, but, you know, it, it just sounds like my paradise, you know? All right, so let's go drive down to this little port. This shipwreck cove over here is base is what this should be called. Oh, man, this is just a mess. It's beautiful. Look how look how nice that looks. That is, that's the attention to detail I love in BMG maps. So, yeah, Dune Wolf, that, this is fucking awesome, dude. You deserve way more credit. I know, I, I know you just uploaded it today, but everybody watching should go download this because it's awesome. Is this what he means by a stump jump? I think it might be because it's just a little bit, a little jump over the water here. But yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Why the hell not? We have a car equipped to do it, so let's go ahead and spawn right there and not break the suspension. That would be great. It doesn't look like you you would be able to get a lot of speed, but I guess we don't need a lot of speed. It's a very short jump, a stump jump, if you will, or a stunt jump is what I would call it. Oh, yep, <laughs> that landing though can't really do much about that. It looks like there's even a volcano on this map, and it looks like it may not be dormant because there is definitely smoke coming from there. But it looks like it could be a nice little hot springs there since it's 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 gonna be warm. Where there's an active volcano. Would you would you guys swim in this? Let me know down below if you know it could blow at any moment. But uh, it, it probably isn't. I would probably go swimming in it. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, there is a shitload of stuff to explore. There's even a little town. Oh, that's it's I don't know. I just this this map is hitting me in the feels it feels somewhat Nostalgic, but it's a place. I've never been you know how that can happen to you sometimes. That's pretty much what's happening to me Okay, I see an actual Actual little no not in the water. I see an actual little strip of road here So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna hop on that see where it leads. Let's go ahead and spawn right there Don't fall through the map. There you go. All right So now we can just drive and forget all of our worries in the world. I feel like I should be talking in ASMR voice and a very soothing voice Sorry if I put some of you to sleep. I know this is probably a very very boring video But you know, I, I, I still like making these videos. Look at this. Oh Okay, we're good. We're good. I thought my car was gonna be a little bit too low, but it's all right And it seems that we have a fallen tree Over the map. Look at that. That is fucking awesome All right, so we're just gonna keep driving and I guess this is just a little coastal road that kind of goes around the perimeter of the map. Just, just beautiful. And is, what, what the hell is this? 
more little towns, so I guess this is a financial island. Uh, it looks like they're producing lumber. Super, super interesting, I know. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna keep driving on this totally not sketchy road that would totally not fall and collapse under our way and send us to a watery grave. But you know, it's okay. Everything is just okay. Oh, shit. This road is getting very, very treacherous very, very fast. And, uh, we have a cross and now, I don't, what the hell? Oh, okay, he had to post the, he had to spawn the entire church just to get the little cross. That's very creative, man. Very, very creative. Alrighty, so let's do one final base jump here before we... <laughs> This should be a space jump ever. Okay, let's do one final jump here. Yes, there we go. Absolutely sublime. As we sink into the ocean. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, guys. If you liked what you saw, make sure to leave a comment down below and uh, tell me what you guys wanna see on the channel. If there's any challenges that you'd like to see me do in beam and g uh yeah the comment section is the perfect place but yeah that'll about do it i'll talk to you guys later see ya